The San Diego State women's basketball team was going after the WNIT title tonight against Oregon. Aztecs played a great game, but Oregon played an even better one. Ducks beat the Aztec women 67-64. Shauna Perry closed out her career with only 10 points, but she was named the tournament most valuable player. Meanwhile, Michigan and Seton Hall advanced to the final four in NCAA basketball. Uh, both teams had rather easy wins. Seton Hall handled Nevada Las Vegas. That is the wife of uh, Nevada Las Vegas coach Jerry Tarkanian with her rosary beads. It didn't work. Uh, the Pirates were just too tough underneath. Moses Scurry had his shot blocked. Fast break, Seton Hall. Anthony Avent scored. Pirates led by four at the half. And midway through the second half, they just exploded. During one stretch, outscored Nevada Las Vegas by 23 points. Andrew Gaze, the refugee from the Australian national team, hit that three-pointer. Here he is again. He was the top scorer with 19 points. Seton Hall is going to Seattle. 84-61 the final. And Seton Hall plays the winner of tomorrow's Georgetown Duke game in the NCAA semifinals. Now, Michigan had an even easier time with Virginia, so Steve Fisher becomes the first interim coach to take his team to the Final Four. That was Glenn Rice with the basket just before halftime. Here he is again with the alley-oop. Great score. He had 32 points. Michigan by 19 at the half. Game was not close in the second half. Loy Vaught underneath worked his way free. He got the slam. Sean Higgins had a career-high 31 points. So Fisher now 4-0 since Bill Frieda left for Arizona State. The Wolverines are going to shuffle off to Seattle in the final. And it's a 10-point game with six minutes left. Smith, Hawkins, Brian Williams. That's quick against even more quick. And oh, there's McMullen right there for the left. He's toying with the Cowboys in one. They're playing the game over the Wyoming defense, and it's an even dozen, the advantage for the Aztecs. And give credit to Fox from the free throw line. Hits it. Rattles in a 15-footer, Reggie Fox. At it's 60-50, and the Cowboys still within striking distance with 5.15 left. Tough shot by Fox. A hand in his face, off balance, and he stuck it right in. Well, he came here to look at Robin Davis. What about Reggie Fox? He's an attractive-looking player, too. You know, sometimes they scout one player, and they see somebody else they like. McMullen draws another foul. Got behind Brian Williams to Sean Bell. Got a little bit too fancy. Got away with a walk and missed the shot. Got hit in practice by the assistant coach, Charles Bradley. Took it through many hands, and it's retrieved by Michael Best of the Aztecs. And San Diego State is four minutes away from a victory. Inside the Johnson. Tipped in. It was Bell who went over Tyson, and with the left hand was able to flick it back in. Just showed what good leaping ability he has. Lucky he wasn't called for going over the back. It could have been a foul. Davis can't connect. Inside Tyson with the follow shot. Rod Tyson, 63-52. Well. And San Diego State vacates the backcourt, so just one person brings it up, so it's almost impossible to double team. Now they're over playing defensively. And the shot goes back in by Bell, and when you overplay, you leave open lanes, and Bell took advantage, and there was a foul, too. To this man, McMullen, out of Brian Williams at 25 on the shot clock. And he'll pull it back. Lock certainly an ally now in San Diego State. Jackson all the way rejected by Slater. But a comfortable lead, but still a glimmer of hope for the Cowboys. Especially now that Jackson missed them both. But Slater dropped it over the air. From behind, though, Best took it away from Fox. He never saw it. And Bell wisely pulls it back out. The Aztecs lead by 10. The state about to even its record at 9-9. Nine and, nine, and the Cowboys will fall to 10-10. and 10. San Diego State being very patient on offense, running the shot clock down. It's now 18. That rock Fox for three. Slater took it off the rim, got the basket and the foul. Again, again with a minute left. Fox to Kenny Smith for three. 80%. He, he's sixth in the whack after shooting less than 50% last year. That's great improvement. And Brandon Berg has to have a sigh of relief now, knowing that, hey, I did beat the team I used to coach. 0-3 last year in his first year at San Diego State. Bro, right on his season average. 69-58, and stops by 11 with 28 seconds to play.
have to be impressed with Slater's ability to play with that kind of intensity as a freshman. Seven points, and unofficially we have him for 12 rebounds. Very impressive. There's Reggie. But he's going to do a lot of positive things for Benny Dees over the years. With all these recruits that Wyoming has signed, they can use him as a power forward. A steal by little Kevin Honaker to Bell to William Dixon. seconds and Smith from outside drills it. That's a three-pointer. Honaker just throws it down to Jackson and this game's over. So the San Diego State Aztecs hold off the Wyoming Cowboys and win it 69-61. Our postgame show follows immediately.